Jamie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog is gonna be unboxing and first impression of my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if you guys are interested and as excited as I am, just keep on watching. I'm all smiles today kasi oh my gosh I'm so excited kasi sobrang tagal kong hinintay ng moment na to and finally hawak kamay ko na siya. So we pre-ordered this iPhone 12 Pro Max way back September pa this year. So, ayun, inabot din siya ng almost 2 months bago siya makarating. So, we got this from an Instagram shop that is called Brace Authentics. And it was directly bought from the US. So, disclaimer lang, um, I didn't bought it um, out of luho or in just a snap lang. So, this one, ito talaga is pinaghirapan, pinagpuyatan, and pinag-ipunan ng matagal bago ko siya nabili. And my reason for buying this is mainly because of the camera. And I will be using it for vlogging because you know naman na iPhone 12 Pro Max has a better quality camera. And, and I want to upgrade to a better quality camera to use it for vlogging. And later, sasabihin ko sa inyo the reason why kung bakit ito yung napili ko. And also, you will ask why uh, I didn't bought the real camera na lang instead of iPhone. So, my reason for that is, hindi kasi ako techie person and hindi ako sanay na mag-edit sa laptop. So, yon mas prefer ko na mag-edit sa phone kasi I find it na mas comfortable ako na mag-edit doon. But maybe next time, open naman ako sa possibilities. Siguro if ever na marami na yung subscribers ko, yun, baka itry ko din na gumamit ng real camera. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's move on to our unboxing video. So I have here two iPhone 12 Pro Max with me. I have here the gold one and this one is mine. And also I have here the Pacific Blue and this one is my boyfriend's. So ayun, sa box pa lang niya, kitang kita mo na yung difference. So this one is black in color, tapos ito naman white, and also um, ito mas manipis yung iPhone 12 Pro Max, compared sa box ng iPhone 10 so ayan, ganyan and also, sa labas pa lang ng box niya, kitang kita mo na agad na kung ano yung color ng phone sa loob, so as you can see meron siya dyan na gold details and here naman, you can see na blue so, we just got the 128 gig lang kasi I still have my iPhone 10 and 64 gig yon and until now, hindi ko pa rin siya mapuno-puno. So, I don't think na mapupuno ko agad ang memory nitong 128 gig. As you can see guys, sealed pa siya. So, um, meron siya nitong easy pull tab. So, by the way guys, um, if you're buying from an online shop o kaya sa mga Green Hills o kaya from anywhere, um, you just have to keep in mind and to look for easy pull tab. Kasi meron ako mga nakikitang video sa TikTok na ang ginagamit lang nila na pang seal is yung um, blow dryer. So, be careful guys. And by the way guys, hindi ko na sabi sa inyo na Ang reason pala ni Apple kung bakit manipis na lang yung box niya is hindi na pala included yung charger na adapter sa loob and also the earphones. And the reason for that is gusto ng Apple na maging eco-friendly and to cut down on e-waste. Well, for me, it's okay lang naman kasi meron pa naman akong existing na lighting cable. But for those person na wala pa silang, uh, na it's their first time to buy an iPhone 12. Well, it's kinda sad kasi kailangan pa nilang bumili nung adapter na USB-C. And now, let's proceed to our unboxing. ASMR moments. Ayan, so ayan na siya guys. Oh my gosh, ang ganda niya. Super, um, very elegant siyang tingnan. Tapos, 
Ito yung itsura ng box niya. Meron siyang space dito for the camera. So, ayan. Ayan yung itsura niya. Pero, later ko na siya ipapakita. So, para meron namang konting suspense. So, ito yung laman ng box niya. So, here we have the... So, tapos ang loob niya is meron siya nung sa SIM na ejecting tool na once ko lang naman nagagamit. And then, we have here yung mga instruction manual and how to um, take care of your phone. And also, we have here the very famous Apple logo sticker na palagi pong naaalbor sa akin. <laughs> here naman, meron pa rin siyang kasama na USB-C to lighting cable. Well, siguro maybe baka bumili ako nung USB-C na adapter kasi sayang naman nito and fast charger siya. Okay, now the moment of truth. Let's move on naman with our phone. So, ayan na siya guys. So, I got the gold one. Yung color niya is parang muted gold lang siya. Pero yung side niya, super duper ganda. Napaka elegant niyang tingnan. Para talaga siyang totoong jewelry yung pagka gold niya. And this one is stainless steel. And papakita ko rin pala sa inyo yung isa na Pacific Blue. This one is the Pacific Blue. So, alright, I'm going to remove the protective paper. Ayan guys, sobrang ganda niya. And this one is the biggest iPhone size ever. This one is 6.7 inches and sobrang laki niya. Ang late lang ng kamay ko. Ayan, hopefully hindi ko po siya mabagsak. So, ayun. Um, so, first time ko po magkaroon ng ganito kalaking phone. Kasi my phones before was I had the iPhone 5 and then sumunod is the iPhone 5S. Then next uh, was the iPhone 6 and then my latest phone was the iPhone 10 and now the iPhone 12 Pro Max. By the way guys, yung sides niya is flat yung edges niya as compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, yung design nito is parang ginaya niya yung iPhone 5 na model. Yung harap niya, um, the screen, it is made of ceramic glass. And sabi ni Apple, ceramic glass daw yung pinaka-toughest glass of all glasses. Ito naman is made of stainless steel. And this one, we have the three cameras. Meron dyang wide, ultra-wide, and then telephoto. Tapos later, i-discuss ko pa sa inyo yung features ng camera niya. Kaya binili ko tong iPhone 12 Pro Max. And tapos dyan, nandyan lang yung kanyang Apple logo. Tapos ayun nga guys, sobrang laki niya. This time, malaki na talaga yung kinuha ko kasi alam niya naman malabo yung mata ko. Pag dun sa mga older phones ko, ganito na ako mag-text ngayon. <laughs> so eto, sobrang nice dito na manood ng mga K-dramas or Netflix series. Or maglaro ng ML, di ba? O ganyan siya. O bomba. Wow! And anyway, sa likod niya pala, meron din siya ditong magnet na bilog. Pero right now, hindi nyo lang siya makakita kasi nasa loob siya. And that one is for the attachment of the MagSafe wireless charger and also the MagSafe wallet. So maybe next time, pag-iisipan ko pa if bibili ako nun. And also, this one has much better quality speaker and mas malakas siya as compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max kasi mas marami siyang butas ng speaker dyan. So, ayan, tingnan nyo naman. Kaya, mas malakas yung sound ng kanyang speaker. Alright guys, now let us open our iPhone 12 Pro Max. So, ayan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Sabi niya dyan, hello. So, if you already have an existing iPhone, madali na lang po yung pagsisync ng data nyo from your old iPhone to your new one. Pag may malapit na phone sa kanya, nadadetect niya yon for syncing. And then, kailangan ni accept nung old phone na isi-sync niya siya dito. Huh? <laughs> I hope na gets niya, guys. <laughs> but anyways, um, i-discuss ko lang sa inyo yung mga features nitong phone na to. So first, let us discuss the cameras. Yung reason kung bakit ko siya binili. Yung camera niya is 12MP. The camera moves smoothly kasi meron siyang dual optical stabilization. Meron din siyang 100% focus and also night mode. And kitang-kita nyo naman dyan sa video na yan as compared to my iPhone 10. Na dun sa iPhone 10 ko, hindi masyadong kita yung details. Ayun, and malabo siya, medyo pixelated. And yung puno, 
parang shadow lang siya as compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Kitang-kita niyo yung details niya na yung puno is color green talaga and mas maliwanag. So we have the wide, ultra wide and then the telephoto. So sa wide, yun yung parang normal lens niya lang yun. Ultra wide, yun yung wide lens niya na for landscape. Parang naka zoom out yung picture niya with better quality. And then for the telephoto naman, yun yung pwede nyo siyang i-zoom up to 10 times. Na maganda pa rin yung quality niya na hindi nababawasan hindi nagiging pixelated yung quality ng photo. Alright guys, so now let us compare the front cameras of the iPhone 10 and then the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this one that I'm filming right now is the iPhone 10. Ayan, ganyan yung quality niya. Ayan now. So, this one naman is the front cam of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So, ayan. Tingnan nyo na lang dyan yung difference. And so, this one naman is, I think, much clearer and much maganda. Uh, much better yung quality as compared to the iPhone 10. Alright guys, so for the display, uh, meron siyang HDR and True Tone display. So, yung processor pala nito is the A14 Bionic chip which is the fastest processor as per Apple. This one has the neural engine, can perform 11 trillion operations per second. So, imagine nyo na lang guys kung gaano kalabilis yun. It also has Dolby Vision Editor. So, this one is perfect for creating short films. Kasi, ayun, um, yung pwede mo siyang i-edit na parang ano, gumagawa ka na ng mini film, ganyan. And also perfect for vlogging. Tapos it also has a LiDAR scanner. And this one is perfect for those na archi students or mga architect. Kasi na may measure niya na by just using the camera yung loob ng room. And also nakikita yung parang blueprint ng room. And also this one is splash, waterproof, and dust proof. So, wala naman tayong balak na lublubin to sa tubig, guys, you know. Pero, if ever lang na, halimbawa, mambasa siya sa ulan, well, don't worry kasi hindi masisira yung phone nyo kasi water resistant siya. And also, the browsing speed is much faster than the old iPhone models. And also, guys, it has 5G, but I don't think na meron ng 5G here sa Philippines kasi I think meron pa lang ditong 4G and LTE. Pero yun, 5G, mas magagamit sa US or sa ibang bansa na merong 5G. The last and the most important feature of this phone is the battery life. So, it has a much better battery life than the old iPhone models. So, for the video playback, it has up to 17 hours. And... And for the audio playback, it has 65 hours. So, ayun guys, mas matagal nyo pang magagamit yung phone nyo because of its battery life. Mas maganda na siya as compared to before. So, ayun lang naman guys, yung kanyang features. And I'm not really a techie person. So, yun lang, yung first impression ko lang, yung shinare ko sa inyo. So, ayun lang, I think uh, that concludes my video for today. I hope you guys enjoy and... Please like this video if you did and please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next vlog, bye!